Hi, I'm Vishwa. We have been talking about overpower and oversold conditions in our past three videos. We saw how to use overbought and oversold condition to identify trend reversals and trend continuations. And we also saw a strategy for trend reversals using this overbought and oversold condition. Now, in this last video, we're going to discuss a strategy for trading trend continuations. So let's get started. To keep things simple, once again, we are going to use an indicator to identify our entry and exit spots. For this purpose, we're going to use parabolic SAR. The values are 0 0.02 for increment and 0.2 for max value. And these are the default values of parabolic SAR. So let's go on and see how to place our trades with this indicator. If you take a look at this example, there is a blue dot that is traveling along with the price, right? So this is our parabolic SAR indicator. And we are going to take trades based on this. And just so you know, if the indicator is below the price, it means that the price is an uptrend. And if the indicator is above the price, it means that the price is in downtrend. And SAR means stop and reverse. What it means is that once the price hits this parabolic SAR point, it indicates that the current trend has stopped and the price could reverse in direction. Now, with that in mind, let's take a look at some trades. Here is our overbought condition in this example. And before we talk about entries, just remember that the overbought or oversold means that the price is overextended. So ideally, you want to enter your continuation trades after a pullback or consolidation happens. And one plus point of using this parabolic SAR is that you can find the beginning and end of this counter trend or pullback very easily. Let me show you how. We have an uptrend right here, right? And as we already saw, when the price is an uptrend, the parabolic SAR will be below the price. So what we will do is wait for the parabolic SAR to shift above the price. Now, this indicates that the price has gone into a counter trend. So now we have our trend continuation pattern followed by a counter trend. So we will take our trade once this counter trend ends and our actual buying trend continues. And here you see that the parabolic SAR is shifting back below the price, telling us that the uptrend is about to continue. So our entry will be around this level and our stop loss will be placed slightly below the parabolic SAR point. And as this point moves, you can trail your stop loss along with it. And for the exit, we use this trailing stop method. Once the price hits this parabolic SAR point, we will exit from this long position. In this example, our pattern is right here. And we will focus on our sell entry after a small counter trend is formed, which is right over here. So our sell entry would be around this level. But since this bearish candle is very big, our stop loss will also be big. In that case, you can wait for a pullback to enter your trade. Now, this would minimize your risk. And as for the exit, we will be exiting our trade right here because this is where our SAR point has been breached. And in this example, this is where our pattern is. And also, there is this small counter trend. So our entry would be at this level. And the stop loss will be right over here. 
Now in this trade, the risk is really big. And also there is no pullback after the strong red candle. Now normally it's better to avoid these trades, but if you think the trade is good and insist on taking it, then go with smaller quantities. And here is where we exit this trade. And this example is a bit different from what we have seen. Because if you notice, here you see some noise in parabolic SAR. And this is a fake indication. So how to know the difference between the real and fake counter trend indications? Well, it's really easy to do it. Just check whether the counter trend sustains for at least last three days or three sessions. If it does so, then we can take that as a valid counter trend. So in this example, our valid counter trend occurs here. And the price is sustained in the counter trend for more than three sessions. So we will be taking our trade right after this counter trend around here. Here, once again, we have a big stop loss because the stock opened with a strong gap. But in here, you can place your initial stop loss right below this strong psychological support, 500. And as the SAR points move above 500 level, you can move your stop loss with it. And the exit here would be at this point where the price hit our SAR stop loss. And one last thing, when you use parabolic SAR to trade, your initial stop loss would be a little big. But as you saw in these examples, the parabolic SAR moves along with the price. So as the price begins to move, your risk would also be reduced because you will be trailing your stop loss after every candle. So finally, in this last example, we will talk about something important. Till now, we saw how to find and trade the trend continuations. Now, in this example, we will see how to avoid a fake continuation pattern. In here, we have our trend continuation pattern right here. But the trend did not continue after the pattern. Rather, it reversed. So, how to avoid trading these setups? We can filter these types of patterns with one simple indicator, RSI. When you see a divergence in RSI along with our pattern, then it means that the trend is going to reverse rather than continue. So in these places, you can focus on taking reversal trades instead of continuation trades. Right. So with this video, we are completing our overbought and oversold series. And I hope these videos were really interesting and useful to you guys. If you enjoyed our videos, please say so in the comments. In our next video, we will talk about intraday breakouts. So subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so that you won't miss it. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Have a great life. Thank you.